Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you guys haven't seen my last video, we went antique shopping. I'm always like, I'm still fairly new to like thrift shopping, antique shopping, just within the last year, um, not even a full year. So I'm always like, is it thrift shopping or is it antique shopping? But it did say antiques on the store front, so I'm assuming there's antiques. But I got about like, I think, five to six things to show you guys. Um, I got a sweater. I think we got like some kind of sick throw up bug. Grant still doesn't feel good at work today and he said people at his work, their kids are all sick, so. I got this, it's very like, I feel like grandma-ish, like, but I like it. I first saw it hanging and I saw the cream stripe to it and the little stripe around the wrist and so I liked the way that looked and it grabbed my attention and then it had this big flag USA emblem on it and I thought it was just going to be like all plain like as if it were worn like this which I could wear it like that someday I could turn it around I do love America and this is cute I don't know I liked the sweater it's a large this is what I'm so excited about I haven't shown Grant any of these yet. Grant might think this is funny because it's not like his kill or his deer or anything, so he might think it's weird. He's gotten a buck, but like it didn't have antlers yet. Is that a babe? I don't know. I feel like they have a certain name for them. But anyway, so I got this. What's it called? There's a word for these. I can't think, but I love the way, way that they're like styled and decor. So I think I'm going to put it in the kitchen next to a little shelf and a hook with my apron on it and like a picture or something. I saw it at a restaurant locally and it had this exact thing next to an exact shelf and like set up and it just looked really good together. So I saw that and it was like really inexpensive. The price isn't on here. I wish it was or I'd show you this find. I'm so excited about the boys have an old antique one for outside that we got when we bought the house. The house was sold as is and it happened to be in our chicken coop, grain silo building thing. Um, but this is like probably so old. I wish I could know the year. It works totally fine. Weston rocked on it. I thought it was gonna be like maybe like 45, 55, 65 or higher and it was $22 and then 40% off of that or 30% off of that. So I just thought it was such a good deal. I'm not going to repaint it or anything. I like the green that's like kind of faded a bit. Um, it is all dusty, so I'll clean that up. But I'm going to leave it in their playroom and have this be like an indoor rocker. I was going to buy a... Um, and then I'm just going to set it by the Christmas tree in the morning and give it to them as like a Christmas gift. And like the red and green actually goes really perfect with it. Um, I was going to buy a plastic one kind of like this, but like it, you spin in a circle. And that was like... $50 or something and then this was 22 and it's like solid wood so I'm happy I got this for a Christmas gift I think I'm gonna make it Jet's Christmas gift the boys were eating when I brought that in from outside I was like crap they're gonna see me bring it in because I'm like walking right past them and they're gonna want it and it's a Christmas gift and they can't have it but they both were eating and so into their food that they didn't even notice this huge horse go by them which is good my mom and dad actually got this for us which was super nice it was six dollars for all of these blocks like just the original it's like so old the box you can just see the age in it i don't even think they make them like this anymore and my mom thought it'd be good for like learning the alphabet to show them the letters or to put three out and they can choose so that's what my mom thought with that and i totally agree um so see cute and the people at the checkout were so sweet and they were saying that that's such a good price for it because they'll sell just one individual block like this for a lot of money so they said six dollars was like a really good price and then i was thinking why would they sell just one block but it would be really cute if you had just like one block w in the room for weston or one block j so i might also do that in the room that would be cute now so this wasn't thrifted per se it was just gifted to us from grant's grandpa 
Um, I believe it went, Grant's dad gave it to his grandpa, and then his grandpa just used it a little bit when he'd go out and shovel snow, and then he gave it to Grant. But it is such a nice coat, especially for this winter. We live in Ohio, so we definitely get snow, and it's a huge down um, coat. Like, it is so thick and nice. So, did you say something about that? No, it's all black or whatever. But... <laughs> it is going to be so nice for the winter when it snows and we have to shovel or hopefully we're trying to find a used snow blower so hopefully we could find a snow blower or grant's big it's not a tractor grant's big zero turn lawnmower you can buy attachment like um uh, i don't know what is that snow plow Oh, this is a really good one. You can buy an attachment snow plow, but it's kind of expensive, so more than Grant wants to spend on it, so yeah. Okay, let's bring a little horsey back in. He's so cute. This I saw right away, and I loved. If you keep up with just different um, decor stylings, this is shown a lot in a lot of like designer stylings, and so it caught my attention I wouldn't probably like it if I didn't see it in designer stylings I'm not gonna lie um there's certain things that I like just because I genuinely like and there's certain things that I see styled and I'm like oh wow that is beautiful but it adds really great texture and it was only three dollars and I've just been wanting one exactly like this I have some fluted um well this would be fluted I want to do some DIY like that one but this is different because this might be what's well, called fluted I don't know I really like it I know they make them in paper form but this and I was thinking this was gonna be like a fabric or paper but this is plastic so that's really cool and it's just a nice like tan beige color so I don't know where I'm gonna put it but I'll find something oh yeah and then this is also a good one that Grant will be happy about this one was ten dollars and it's just a cast iron like um cool down thing we have a lot of cast iron we love cast iron and it will hang really pretty in the kitchen too but it's also just very useful so grant will definitely be pleased with that one i'm gonna make some banana bread we're gonna work out today i'm gonna make a salmon recipe and a really good salad recipe that i haven't made yet i found it on pinterest You want up, Bubba? You see a truck? You want to play with it? Okay. Quick. boys. recipe time I always forget the recipe so I go on to my own Instagram highlight page and um, the bread highlight it wasn't showing up at first but the bread highlight page the very first recipe is the banana bread recipe it's so freaking delicious moist and perfect um, I'll link it down below to give the person credit but it was from some famous youtuber that 
like has over a million or something definitely over a million um roxanne i think is the name she's like a famous baker youtuber anyways ever since i've made her mom's banana bread recipe it's been all i make you want to help mama make some b banana bread okay figured you wanted to help. Mm -hmm. First, making the dry mixture. It's just two cups flour, one fourth teaspoon salt. I just kind of, I don't measure the salt. Um, one teaspoon baking soda, and then you just whisk that together until well combined. Okay. Pour it on in. Mm -hmm. We need, now we need some salt. Okay and one teaspoon baking soda. So mommy will do the salt, and then you can do the baking soda, okay? And then, like grandma always taught me, you gotta put it up as you go along. Weston's turn. Good job. Now I need you to whisk it together. Can you get out the whisk? And then in a different mixing bowl, do one cup of sugar, half cup of soft butter, Try to make sure it's soft so that I can make it light and fluffy. And then mix it together. Then in the third final mixing bowl, do three to four gross bananas. I always prefer to do four and like really don't like when I do three. It totally works. I just like a little bit more of the banana flavor and I don't even like bananas, but I love a banana bread. Mash it on down. Add two eggs to the flour sugar mixture and then mix that together. Add one teaspoon vanilla extract and one teaspoon milk to the mashed banana mixture. Now we have alternating a little bit of the dry. I'm using a spatula and scraping down some of that dry mixture to incorporate it better, but just alternating between the dry flour mixture and the banana mixture, you're gonna pour that into the butter and sugar and egg mixture. So start with the flour mixture, mix it together, then pour some mashed banana in, mix it together, back to flour, mix it together, and then back to the banana and mix it together. And grease the bread pan. We use coconut oil. You don't need to do parchment paper. And then I folded in some chopped walnuts, half a cup of chopped walnuts, and just folded it with the uh, spatula there to keep it light and fluffy. And then pour it into the bread pan and then 350 degrees in the oven for 100 and 100 for an hour and 10 minutes. get the bread out with mommy? Okay. Can stay far away? Mommy! Mommy gets a big slice and then you guys are gonna get a small slice. Small slice, small slice, small slice. Small slice. Weston loves doing his laps around the table, around the coffee table. He gets in his own starting blocks like he's in track. One, two, three, go! And then he'll even jump like he's doing hurdles or something. We're making salmon tonight. I'm gonna rinse my salmon. I've never done that before, but Melina Ciciotti said it makes it not so fishy tasting, which I don't mind the way I've made it, but heck, I'll rinse it. Someone also, Melina also said to rinse that rice, it makes a big difference. I tried that, I couldn't tell the difference at all, so. Let's see. It was more complicated than anything to rinse the rice. I'm doing a new marinade recipe. Okay, so it's so sweet and spicy. It's olive oil, soy sauce, um, lemon juice, which we don't have lemon, but we have hardly any lime. Oh my gosh. 
Uh, maple syrup, we don't have any maple syrup, but we have agave, hot sauce. This is really freaking spicy though, and then salt and pepper. So I'm gonna do that. I should've done it right in the bag and not wasted a bowl, but we used to make fish all the time. Perch, catfish, um, not catfish often, but um, salmon, tilapia. We used to make it like three to four times a week at the old house. And we have, I don't think, I'm gonna have to ask Grant tonight. I do not think we have made fish since we've lived in this house, which is crazy. Especially when I was pregnant, it was like, I was like nervous that I was drink, or eating too much fish. I had to ask my peeps about that. So yeah, that's like not a lot of juice, but. And then I was asking my friends what recipes I should make this coming week. Cause I was just kind of, yeah honey. I was just kind of stuck in like a, just doing the same kind of things. So my friend Amanda told me salmon's just so easy go to. I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I need to do that. We used to always, but also it's expensive. Like this is only a little bit and it was 10 bucks. So it's kind of expensive. Okay, I don't want too much in there. It didn't say, um, it didn't say measuring. Hey. This stuff's freaking hot. And then I'm gonna make a really yummy salad, which I've never made before. It has cranberry, or not cranberries, pomegranate. So I have pomegranate right here, and then I figured what else is in it, but I'll make that with you guys. So sweet. Are you guys squeezing Barrett? Mm -hmm. Aw, give him kisses. Ooh, I can smell that hot sauce. I should have done this marinade like hours ago, but I kind of forgot about it. So it's only gonna sit for like an hour, hour and a half maybe. middle of the closet floor. And that's because he knows it's time for a big dump of clean clothes. You don't want to watch a girl? Oh, you're just gonna do what we used to do? Huh? Are you just gonna do what we used to do? Okay, I liked that. The one on the, the, one on the mirror. Let me just say that this was our first time working out, not Grant's, but my first time working out since July. We did so good working out like very consistently four to five times a week and then for like two months then we'd stop and then we'd come back and then we'd stop for a week, come back for two weeks, stop for a week, like and then whatever. But in July it had been the best I had been doing strongest I had been, the most consistent and everything, 
Then the weather got nice and I wanted to go outside and work on outdoor projects and I just left working out to the birds. So now I'm getting back to it. It's sad because I can't do like what I used to do. I could not remember like the workouts and I knew them like totally. So now it's like relearning everything and that kind of stinks, but that's okay. And my form is like clearly off, so I'll just get better. And this is my first time filming after not working out for a long time. And I had done a few sets before I filmed it. So yeah, okay, whatever. They were in high school when they met And things got kind of awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh be together Ooh. and one day she said write me a love song cause I know you'll make it beautiful and maybe I'll call you my sweetheart and promise nobody can steal me away then I am yours cause I want you and I wanted you to know 